much better. Actually, at 10 minutes, it hit when it hit 150 degrees on the of the top temperature, <clears throat> which is the actual temp. The element started. You can hear it now how it's turning off and on. The element shut down for the first time, and then it's taking it another almost four minutes to get up to the set temp, which was another 15 degrees. So all in all, 14 minutes to go, 65, 75, 80 degrees. Just want to make sure that that, I'm sure that noise is fine, but don't worry about it scorching that wart. What do y'all think? And now what that'll do is that'll hold that temperature right there at 165 degrees, give or take a degree. You see it ramping up now. It's probably going to ramp up a bit. But this thing's supposed to, maybe it'll have to relearn since I had to rewire that breaker. Um, the guy I talked to at Auburn Instruments who's the guru on this thing, said there's no need to run an auto-tune, but I read a lot on Homebrew Talk that says I do need to run auto-tune. So what's your thoughts on that as well? Thanks to everybody on Homebrew Talk for your help last night. We had a thread that just exploded on this. About this, everybody said I had to have a meter, which I understand I needed to have one, but I didn't have one, and the stores were closed and I couldn't get one, and my neighbor didn't get home till too late, so I didn't get one. Um... But we accomplished what I set out to, which was to find out what the problem was, which as I said in my last video, and take two, this will be take three, that um, that the uh, the wiring was wrong on the, on the breaker over there in the breaker box. So, as I was saying before, we were getting half the power to the element. And now you can hear we're getting full power to the element. But we, like, as I said, we accomplished what we, what I wanted to do, which was I know those guys are way smart enough to figure this out, and thank goodness I had a lot of guys uh, that spent uh, part of their holiday yesterday on Thanksgiving helping me sort this thing out, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, and that's what that site's all about, and this one. So, looks like we're ready to brew. Next thing will be to put it on manual and take it on up to boiling. We'll see how long it takes to get to that. And then um, it's only got seven gallons in there. I guess I need to put more in there for that. Because I'll start a boil around 12 and a half, 13 gallons for a 10 gallon batch. Alright. Thanks for watching. Peace.